When reading two comes out, you think it'll be pay to win? I mean, have you looked at the state of things lately? I, I really don't mean to be... I'm not a doomer. I don't think that the world is going to... Like, human society is going to cease to exist. Do I think that in some ways the world is getting worse at all times? Yeah, in some ways it's getting worse and in some ways it's getting better. But I, I would say part of my worldview is that mainstream gaming will probably get worse and exclusively more profit driven over time. Um, so, you know, like I was there when horse armor came out and I said, fuck you, I'm not paying five dollars for horse armor. And then we kind of held the line for like five years or something like that. And then people started buying horse armor. And then we reached a point where people were like, hey, I might as well get the horse armor. It's only $5. And we're kind of in this weird era with um, loot boxes right now, where I really thought we were holding the line on loot boxes. The king of Belgium said, "Don't we don't allow that shit in our country. And I was like, yes, the tide has started. But now it's like, I feel like it was just Belgium. And then it's become so normalized through EA Ultimate Teams and, uh, you know, gotcha games and stuff like that, that we're reaching the point where people are no longer like, I'm not going to play that. It's pay to win. People are now like, of course it's pay to win. It's a gotcha game. What do you expect? And pretty soon... I think people, is it insane to think that in 10 years, people will be like, yes, it's pay to win. All I have to do is put my money into the game and I'll succeed. Like, it's just, it, it feels like, you know, that the, the start of the snake is like the pills hard to swallow. And then like, while you're swallowing it, you're like, I guess I don't have a choice. But by the time it reaches the ass, you're like, yes. Hang on, let me get a verification can. But at the same time, the idea that it's just like you're only moving in one direction and it's bad is not really true. Because you're kind of, you're moving in like lots of different directions simultaneously. Like, like, Balatro comes out on Tuesday. That's pretty sick. Can I say something about the gaming industry? Again, I don't work in AAA. And I also don't play that many AAA games. So I think it's nice that I can say this because I'm not alienating my customer base or my clients. <laughs> but like, it's easier to make games than it's ever been before. Why do the teams keep growing in size and making the games take longer to make? Why are they digesting the, the ease of making the product in such a way that it leads to them being like more bloated because expectations are higher. Not, not me personally, maybe the gamers at large, but I don't, I don't feel like my expectations are higher. My expectations are like, could you just make a game like as good as you made it in 2001? And they're like, no, we can't because we got 35 people on the monetization team that are all trying to figure out how to you know, if you buy the battle pass, the loading screens are cut in duration by 25%. And you're like, well, I might as well. I mean, I'm spending 10 bucks, but on the bright side, I'm saving 10 minutes. Like, it's a... Arrowhead's doing good stuff. I did see that they were like... People were asking them to add PvP, and they said, no, we want everyone to be friends. And I was like, good. Just let... They made, they made a great game. Let them... Let them cook. Are you saying you want shorter games with worse graphics made by people who are paid more to work less and you're not kidding? Yes, because I want to be on the right side of history. But also, I just um, want... Like, I feel like I just want them to be s smaller. It's great if they're paid more and they work less. I think those would be like natural extensions of, of this. I know we've, people don't like this take. You can make the game look a little shitty, right? Make it look like it came out on the PS3. <laughs> Please don't. You could just do it, man. Balatro could have come out on, the, on Windows 95. Stardew Valley could have come out on the freaking Amiga. I, I'm doing the thing that I hate that people do, which is they take like the outlier example and act like you can just extrapolate it to the norm. Why doesn't everybody just make a game as popular as Stardew Valley? 
I got Stardew Valley in a Steam sale for 99 cents and you want me to pay five bucks for your game? Anyway, just, I would settle for if they just removed crafting from every game that's, that doesn't need it. <laughs> just remove the crafting, man. We're at that, certainly like we're at that point, right? Like nobody's playing a AAA game and they're like, holy shit, bro, it's got crafting. Let's go, man, let's go. If I get 17 more sprigs of white oleander, I can put a fucking notched hilt on my Zweihander that gives me plus 7% damage against undead foes. Like, there should be more games where it's just fun to interface with like four me is that, I hate to be this guy, but Dark Souls is the greatest game ever made. You know how many mechanics there are in Dark Souls? I've played the game through 17 times and I don't even know what 98% of the items are because every single one is like, mm, Bob's Beard Oil. Thousands of years ago in Lower on Deadburg was a large man named Bob with a big bushy beard. And then you look at the click, click, X, X. Like, I don't even know what button to press to get the description up. And then it's like, imbues your sword with whimsy. And you're like, all right, fuck it, bro. You got a healing potion. You got a sword. You got a shield. Send it. Take the, I'm going to fight God. Like, that's, they really broke the mold on that one, man. I feel like. At least 80% of, especially AAA games I play, they introduce the core mechanic, and I'm like, this shit is boring. And then they introduce 100 mechanics surrounding it that are, like, even worse. And I'm like, oh, I can't even do the least bad mechanic. I have to go back to town first and do the eighth best mechanic. Unfortunately, you're out of gold. You can't sleep at the inn to get your health back. First, you've got to get some gold by, well, you can find loot in the, you can click on loot in the dungeon, take a backpack full of leather caps back to the ware seller, and then sell the hats to them, and then use the gold to sleep at the inn so you can play the fun part of the game again. We got it all backwards, man. That's why Balatro's cooking, man. They just give you the cards. If it comes out and it's trash, I'm leaving the industry. <laughs> Local thunk, are you here? No pressure. <laughs> oh, man. Not what you want to hear three days before your game comes out. I don't know. Did we lose it? Yeah, we lost that last one. You didn't even have to ask. They should add paid booster packs. Actually true, though. Local Thunk has an obligation to add paid booster packs in order to boost uh, shareholder value. I do need to add, though, I'm not trying to become the champion. Just lose this run, okay? <laughs> I'm not trying to become the champion of the gamers. I'm just one man. Because I actually, I feel like I would love a live service game if it was actually good instead of bad. Like if Super Auto, and Super Auto Pets has done a great job. I mean, this is like a game we found on Steam and it's still relevant three years later, which is crazy. And they're still making new content, which is like insane to me. But like something like this, where it was like, I don't mind paying five bucks once a month to gain access to like a, a paid and a free battle pass. And then there's like new things that you unlock throughout. And then, because I kind of, I feel like the, the battle pass stuff that keeps you motivated to play the game is in principle like actually a good idea it just gets weaponized to be like hey do a bunch of like boring shit that you actually don't like doing instead of like stay interested in playing the game like it's artificially like oh i have to hit 10 trees with my axe today in order to get like a new avatar or something I love the idea of like, it's almost like treating the game like a, I mean, I'd rather pay 15 bucks for it and have everything forever, but I don't mind the idea of like, you know, content comes out at regular intervals and you, you pay like a subscription fee essentially to access it as long as you want. But like, I don't know, you got to make the game good in the first place, <laughs> which SAP has done, but... Honestly, just kill me. <laughs> We're going to lose this one. This one is going down. All 
All right, then we can focus on the next one. Yeah, 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 the next one. Imagine if you could craft jokers in Balatro, though. Dude! Local Thunk, are you here? Would you like to hire me as an independent consultant? I just came up with an amazing idea. The Orange Clementines? Imagine if, uh, when you, in, you know how right now it gives you like a useful resource when you still have hands left over when you beat uh, a, a blind? What if instead of giving you a useful resource, it gave you a useless resource? Let's call it card dust. Every time you, you had leftover hands, it gave you a certain amount of card dust. And by using the card dust, you can, uh, maybe like 50 card dust allows you to craft a random common joker. And then you could take two common jokers and you could turn them into a random uncommon joker. You can't make a rare joker though. A rare joker requires a a golden poker chip, which can only, they give you one for free to teach you the mechanic, but the rest of them are $4.99 uh, in the Steam store. You need a golden rare poker chip and two uncommon jokers to craft a new rare. What do you think about this idea? Hire this man. <laughs> yes, they force you to use the free one in the tutorial. What do you think this is, a charity case? Also, I don't even blame the gamers for the position we're in. So people always say, like, vote with your wallet. But isn't that what they've been doing? Isn't that why, like, every game that's come out in the past, like, three years has been immediately declared, like, a commercial flop? I think they are voting with their wallets, like, for the most part. But then the companies are like, here. You know that game that had all this shit that you didn't like? We ripped it out of that game and put it in a franchise that you really identify with. You still holding strong? And I'm like, yeah, but a lot of people are like, all right, you got me with that one. First time chatter, does this streamer ever talk about the game? You must be new here. Most of the student Twitch streamer, you must be new here. It's rare to witness a, a type of A chatter being born. Lightning crashes, a moderator dies. The confusion levels heads. And go down the new, the new chatter down the hall. Oh, my streamers ranting once again. You know what I'm saying? The confusion levels heads. <laughs> the confusion is a doobie level in heads. To the glory of the high, high, the fetus opens her eyes. The confusion sets in <laughs> and gives birth to the fetus down the hall. Oh, my fetus setting in again like confusion, thunder leveling heads. Put the fetus at the center of the setting in pale blue colored eyes. Confusion sets in with the angel down the hall. I know what you're saying. That's, dude, that's a classic from the 90s. That's a 90s classic without a doubt. 